maybe we can move now to the xylella subject. Mm -hmm. How do you see this whole complex? I, I believe it's a, it's a big threat. It's a, something really scary. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing a lot of, when I read the newspaper, I hear a lot of stories that we are exaggerating, that is not a real problem. And in reality, it's a real problem. Mm -hmm. It's a real problem, it's a dramatic problem. Mm -hmm. Dramatic, but because apparently there is no cure. Apparently. Uh, a problem because in, uh, in this part of, uh, of Puglia, uh, the Salento area, the Silella already did uh, a, a huge damage. And of course, in my property, I don't have yet any sign of Silella, but for me, it's just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. It will come. You cannot stop. When uh, the insect in the nella saliva, I don't know, in, uh -huh, in the saliva, in the saliva has the bacteria. Mm -hmm. So when it goes on the leaf and bites the leaf, mm -hmm. it's inoculating the bacteria. And the bacteria goes in the lymphatic system of the tree and uh, in two, three years is killing the, the tree. Uh, apparently there is no solution, so <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a scary problem. A scary. I'm sure you are uh, thinking about what to do if it will hit you. What are your plans in that case? Of course, there are some what they call the, the good agricultural practices. Mm -hmm. You have to do it, and I'm doing to keep uh, the grass uh, low nearby the trees because in the high grass the insect mm -hmm. grows uh, and proliferate. Uh, to cut uh, if you see a strange uh, part of the trees and to burn. But I don't think this is the real solution. Mm -hmm. The real solution uh, until today is not available and when you ask me what to do. Uh, Today, to combat Silella, you must be more a magician than, uh, than, than a real uh, chemist, because there is no solution, apparently. So, if uh, the Silella arrive here, honestly, I don't know what to do. Are you happy with what the authorities do to prevent its spread? No, uh, they move very late. Of course, now they are sensible to the problem, but now it's too late. Mm -hmm. Now it's too late because the the illness is so wide uh, that it would be almost impossible to contain unless we say, okay, well, the Salento trees we remove, and maybe we can contain. So I'm not happy at all. They move slowly, late. Uh, they feel me not very competent on this uh, problem. Uh, probably now things are changing. Uh, now they are more sensible. Well, they are also under pressure first from Rome and Rome is under pressure from Brussels mm -hmm. and I think this, my opinion, it is the only force which is uh, pushing them Push. to do something. I know that uh, the CNR, mm -hmm. the Italian uh, research uh, team, is working. I know some rumors that there are some uh, uh, olive genotype apparently are resisting to Silella. Uh, but I don't want even to consider the scenario where all the, the trees will die and we will plant new trees that are resisting to this uh, bacteria. Also, we heard today that the taste of the oil is different. It's different, of course. Of course. To declare a um, uh, Salento um, a zone where the infection is too far progressed to do anything against it also is a political decision. Yeah, in reality, because, but this is my personal view and mm -hmm. I'm not uh, qualified to give a qualified answer, so mm -hmm. it's just my feeling. Mm -hmm. I try to use the reason and to give an explanation. My feeling is that uh, Silella is like, I don't know, the bubonic pest that uh, was hitting Europe uh, 400 years ago, 500 years ago. So, like all the infection, there is a peak and then after the peak, it collapses. Mm -hmm. I have the impression that we already reached the peak and that the problem mm. now, it will go slowly down. But again, this is my personal impression. I hope this is true, uh, because Silella already caused enough uh, damage. Uh, and if this is the case, well, then uh, we will see in the next uh, couple of years.